Crown Princess Victoria. I now read an excerpt from the Bible. The version that I'm reading from is the Order of the Eastern Star. This way, I know that it is an accurate Bible. Because I've noticed certain versions of the Bible floating around that don't line up with other versions. And it's not just interpretations. They're vastly different. And I believe this is to manipulate people. So, I have an original version that's maintained by an ancient order. I now read Matthew chapter 7 verse 10. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If he then, being evil, know how much to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. And so, me being evil, and an evil leader of children of a nursery. I am supposed to have a gift to give them, but my gift was stolen by King Carl. King Carl was to receive this gift at a later date, and he took it. He did not wait his turn. So what does this mean? This means the treasure that I was supposed to grant my children of my nursery is not there to give because of what King Carl did. This is what led to war with King Carl and the Live Guard. This is why death has become the way and I seek peace because I think King Carl will see reason and I think that you can make him see this reason I cannot even follow the Bible being evil when it says so because of what he has done Crown Princess Victoria I will now read some important uh, excerpts from the Bible, the Masonic version, for accuracy, so that you know that it's a real Bible that's unchanged for over a hundred years, and so that you can understand what kind of terror my people, who are uh, Christian at their core, and uh, they have uh, strong convictions to their faith. Stronger than I, I will admit. And so, I want to uh, read to you an explanation of what they have gone through that lines up with the Bible and what concerns them. literally, as written in the Bible. The second book of Moses called Exodus. Genesis 50... Genesis...
51 is what it looks like. Chapter 50. These are the names of the children of Israel, which came into Egypt. Every man his household came with Jacob. Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Nephalti, God, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were seventy souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already. Now, I wanted to clarify who I think is who. The loins of Jacob were the Romanians from the Romanian nursery. And for Joseph, Joseph was the German nurseries that didn't have hatred about them. These were also young pioneers, but like a German version of it. That didn't go all crazy uh, during World War II. Meaning, not the enemy, but they look like the enemy. These were actually later allies, the most greatest allies of the Romanians. This is why there's a Nazi confusion with the Soviets and the uh, Nazis, I guess, in the United States justice stuff. All right, so, and Joseph died, and all of his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed and waned exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And to clarify, Egypt is the United States, or the U new United States. In the ancient past, it is literally Egypt, which was like a United States of many nations, or many races of nations, is to be more accurate. And he said unto the people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that there falleth out any war. They also join, uh, and they, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for the Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses which is separate from the first statement. This is an and also kind of uh, statement in the Bible. And I, we all know what Ramses was, but you do not necessarily know what Pithom was. Ramses, as we all know, was Egypt, where King Ramses ended up being in charge of the Great Pyramids and stuff like that. 
Now, Pithom, in my opinion, is a place in Saudi Arabia, which is a very popular tourist attraction now. And the treasure there was the same as my people today's space doorway and microwave phaser craft. Or, let us say, a UFO. This would be Pitham. So, in Saudi Arabia, there is an archaeological site to the equivalent of the Great Pyramids in treasure, or where a treasure is. The Great Pyramids being a history of the world, so you do not make the same mistakes of the past, which appear to be carried out rather than avoided today. But the more the city afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And what this is saying is, is it's talking about mistakes of the past in terms of today and my Romanian pioneers and the mass rape. And in the past, a mass rape involving Israel or the people of Israel and a transformation of the races, causing confusion whenever there's a reference in a ancient text such as the Bible. And I just wanted to make that very clear because it pisses me off. It pisses me off that people don't pay any attention to that, and they pander texts like I'm reading now without doing any comparisons to repeating mistakes of the past and participation in repeating mistakes of the past. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor. This, in my opinion, is my young pioneers who are the product of rape being convinced to work with their bastardizing fathers who used icers to rape the wives of uh, the Romanian wives of Cobra and the people of Cobra. And so I make this connection for my people because it is extremely similar and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in the mortar and in brick and this has to do a lot with the builders and their direct associations with the bastardizing rapist fathers with the Icers. And what they're doing with the bastard children because they were confused that they weren't welcome with the young pioneers. And in all manner of the service in the field all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of one was Sifra and the name of the other Pua. And he said, When ye do the office of midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared God, and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them. 
but saved the men children alive. What is this? This is a serious terror thing that the United States government did to the rape victims or the mass rape victims of the intelligence covenant. What this was was if it was a male they were concerned whether or not uh, the Bible would allow them to keep the baby because they had been destroyed in such a way, in such a manner that all they had was their religion to fall back on in sentences like what I just read. That is how terrible the United States government is. It did this called it justice while well, people were afraid that they were living out the Bible the, their faith the only thing holding them together they were afraid that they would have to kill their sons if they had a son from rape which they knew that they were being raped but they didn't want to believe that it was true until they had DNA evidence. Then they got it. Because time just progressed that way. And then it says... And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have you done this thing and saved the men children alive? These are kinds of things that my people have to deal with, and I as their leader have to consider in trying to chart a course for them. This is how bad the United States government is. They knew all this stuff about the defectors who came to the United States and became United States citizens. Then they did all this terrible shit to them, which lines up with stuff in the Bible. And they were people of faith. So, at a certain point, they found these texts. They knew these things. And they lived in terror in the United States. I am their leader, Crown Princess Victoria. This is the impossible task that I am faced with dealing with. And King Carl has made this more difficult for me to deal with. I want you to consider this when trying to understand the level of what I might be dealing with and the kinds of responses that I might get with putting out my evil leadership. Because it's not like they get another chance. And I'm not going to lie about being evil. I'm just going to roll with the punches, go with the flow, and try to be honest. And try to help them as best I can. But I needed you to know the depth of what I'm dealing with in my leadership. And why I need to collect the Dragon Balls. Just like in the old TV series Dragon Ball. And one of these Dragon Balls is King Carl and his Livgard, which I am currently at war with. And I need to put an end to this in the proper way 
understand that I am leader of people and I'm doing the best I can given the circumstances. And I have to do it a traditional way because I'm like a head of state except there is no state. It's just a group of people that endured terrible things. And live in terror, like as I have described, from the Bible to this day. Thank you for your consideration. I know it's difficult having to deal with putting on a show non-stop. Because for me, putting on a show is very difficult. But you do it a lot more, and I understand this. Yes, it is true, Crown Princess Victoria. I, being half Arabic, for the most part, have the memory of the blood. And with the memory of the blood, you know what this means. And so, if you are not a gnome, you do not have the memory of the blood. I do. And I have seen things that are powerful. And I will show you one of these things in this next little clip. I respect you for this. And everyone else should respect you as well. Cobra will. My nursery will s struggle to understand. 